Dr. Andy here. Today I want to talk about strengthening and working on the endurance of the deep neck flexors. Okay, this is a muscle that we don't talk a lot about. However, it is actually incredibly important because most of us are working at desks, right? And so our desk workers, unfortunately, uh, that kind of that chronic seated position weakens the deep neck flexors over time. And as a result, what happens is our, our SCM muscles here in the front get too tight, our scalenes get too, fret, get too tight, and then these muscles on the back of the neck, like the upper trapezius and the levator scap, um, they become chronically spasmed, right? And this is for you if you've got neck pain, if you've got tension, headaches, especially made worse by sitting at a computer. And if you reach back to your shoulder right through here, you're going to feel like a ginormous knot, right? And that's in, your, that's in your upper trapeze. That's the trigger point. Basically, what's going on is these muscles are working all of the time to really kind of hold your head upwards. And it's not supposed to be. These guys are supposed to be a whole lot more relaxed than they are, right? So to be able to accomplish this, especially with our neck pain patients, we work on the, the deep neck flexors, okay? Um, so this is an interesting movement. So if you kind of look at the average individual walking out right now, we have that kind of that anterior head, pair, head carriage, excuse me, and that basically means our head comes forward, and then we extend through the neck to be able to look forward, kind of point in our chin, and that's creating a, a ton of tension in the back of the neck and the front of the neck, okay? So with this movement, we're actually doing cervical retraction. So funny, fancy way of just saying we're, we're kind of tucking our chin, and we're coming straight back. The deep neck the deep neck flexor muscles are the muscles that are kind of responsible for tucking that shin and coming straight back. And this is actually a much more natural, neutral position to be in that helps all of these other muscles relax and takes away some of our pain. All right. Um, so we're going to show you two versions of it to begin with. Uh, the first version is not using a band. Uh, if you've got you know chronic headache problems, if you've got chronic neck pain problems, more than likely I would start without the band just because those deep neck flexors are probably incredibly incredibly weak. All right. Um, so Connor's going to show us what that looks like. Actually, uh, he is going to tuck his chin and come straight back. There it is, right there. It's going to look a little bit awkward at the beginning, right? And so what we want to avoid, if you're doing this in front of a mirror, what you want to avoid is accidentally going into flexion or accidentally, more likely, kind of going into extension, all right? You want to be looking completely, perfectly straightforward, and it's almost like you could take, you know, a finger to your chin and you push it straight back, just like that. That's activating the deep neck flexors. And when done properly, you can actually go into these muscles that are usually too tight, and you can start to feel around, and now they become mush. They actually physically become soft. Now, you can go ahead and relax. Um, what you're going to notice is that if this muscle is kind of chronically weakened in yourself, that's going to feel awkward, and you're actually going to fatigue out really, really fast. Okay, so start with no band. Do it for a week or so, and then I want to show you how you can kind of upgrade it and make it a little bit hard. So Connor's got a band right here. He's going to put that at the level of his forehead with his hands. It's going to be about, about the level of his forehead and the back of his head, and then he's going to do the exact same exercise where he's tucking his chin and coming straight back. A little too much flexion. Let's go. There it is. And he's just going to hold it there, right? The deep, neck, the deep neck flexor muscles are not a powerful muscle. This is just a muscle that can do endurance. So it's more about how long you can do this than how much force you can generate, okay? So if you can practice this a couple minutes in the morning, a couple minutes in the evening, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you're going to start to notice a big improvement in that neck pain and those headaches, all right? Go ahead and relax for me, bud. Um, so again, desk worker, if you got chronic tension, headaches, neck pain, give this a try. Uh, it should help quite a bit. If you have any questions, um, just send them our way. And always remember to live with passion and not pain.